Good morning. Today is September 9th, 2022. And this is a nice illustration of how the columns over here is very free and you can tell everything else is kind of closed over here. But this one is very clear and I can take advantage of it, especially since the king is poorly placed as compared to my king that is protected over here. So let's go. I will have three puzzles for you. The first one is this one right here. What bishop has just moved to d1? What is black's best move? All right, next step. King has just moved to C2. What is Black's best move? All right, next move. The knight has just moved to G4. What is Black's best move? All right. Let's begin the game. This is not my usual move. My usual move, of course, is pawn goes here, bishop goes here, pawn goes here, pawn goes uh, pawn goes here. So that's my usual move. This is not my usual move. I like to mix it up sometimes. So this is not my usual opening. Oops. Where was I? Right here. All right. So bishop moved there. Knight moved there. A pawn moved there. And this is premature actually, I mean, that bishop can go here and I just basically block it immediately. And this is uh, not a good move because notice there's no good square for the knight to go, so could be better. And that's uh, general tactics if the bishop goes here. I can go here or I can capture there. And the king has castled on opposite sides. So uh, this is the beginning. I mean, this is the opening or the beginning phase of the game. Now that everything is settled, we are entering the middle game. So, start attacking here. And what has just moved the knights over here together? What I want you to see is that I have two pawns over here. So surely I can take advantage of that thing over here. And Notice also this is guarded only by one piece of over there. So if I can kick this one up, I can win the pawn for free. That's the obvious answer, isn't it? Once that thing's move, uh, I'm good to go. And this is, I suppose, a time-wasting move because really what's what's gonna do take the pawn with the knight I don't think so so I could have just taken it immediately like this or immediately like this and that would be good because you know the knight can actually cut the pawn there so but doing it with the bishop is more forcing
and then attack the pawn. So a lot of my moves basically like one move late or something. So hopefully there won't be any game that I, you know, the opponent will take advantage of my hesitation over there. But it's possible. And just keep it back and keep it back and start attacking. Now, uh, the king, I mean the knight has moved to f2 and I have several different possibilities. I can move here and basically stick the knight up like this. Or I can move here and attack this bishop right here. Uh, or I can take the pawn. In the end I decided to just take the pawn over here. And this is actually, I don't know, kind of a toss up whether you want to do it with this pawn or with this pawn. But notice that this pawn over here is not defended at all. And I have Maruk over here, so that's a free pawn. Next move. The rook take the free pawn and I'm start getting advantage over here. Notice the pawns are missing, like three pawns missing at the cost of one pawn. So I'm up two pawns. Next move. And that's trading material. I could have pushed it over here, I could have traded over here, or I could defend this piece over here. And I think that a good way to do it would be to just put the rook over there. But I decided to do it over here. And this is like a source of high tension over here. As long as I have a piece over here, what is in trouble? So, so that's why I do it. And there you go. Now the So the trouble now is multiplied because suddenly there's a queen instead of just a simple rook. And this is this is puzzle number two. I mean puzzle number one, puzzle number one over here. Puzzle number one. The bishop has just moved to d one. And what's black's best move? And I showed you that the net move over here, but the net can actually move over here also. Now you can take a pawn, you can take it with the queen, but notice this square over here. Uh, if the queen goes here, that's mid. That's mid right there. That's mid. So in fact, what cannot take the knight? Uh, the queen, I mean, what has to cut this square, and basically, what can only move the queen over here to cut this square over here. Now, if if the knight goes over here, which is what I did, then the, the queen can go here, or the queen can go here, either way. In either case, this bishop is free for the picking because white is going to be busy taking this square, cutting that square. So that move, check, takes, takes a trade, and I get a free bishop right there. So, so that's a good move. So right now I have a huge advantage over here. Not only I'm up ahead two pawns, I'm also up a bishop. So, next move. At this point, I'm seeing this fork potential. Of course, you know, it's, it's not doable as long as there's a bishop there. But that's a potential, so that's why I moved the bishop here. A bit worrying is that. Uh, the fact that the knight is still here and just cannot go anywhere. So that's a problem. 
and here I can secure this anytime I want so it's not like I'm in a hurry to do so next move offering a treatment material and yes I will treat the material but I'm not going to do it over there I'm going to do it over here boom boom and then treating the bishop and I just take it back to safety notice that the king has no defender over there so absolutely no defender of course there's possibly that the knight can go here but yeah basically the king has no defender over there so move here secure the file move there and this is puzzle number two over here and what is black's best move so right away i can see here and here pretty much but also i can see here and here so the best thing would be to secure this square over here and check now the king can go here can go here or can go here if the if the king goes here that's easy i'll just i'll just do check here and then the king um, let's just move king here check here because there's a defender there so the king move away and capture the rook if the king goes here again check and king cannot go here because there's a bishop holding up so take that and takes the rook so the, the king can only go here over there and what I should have done is I should have done uh, is this no no this is not the one so I suppose I could have done this way and then do it this way and then force it like to be stuck there but I decided to just do it this way right here which is taking the, the defender and threatening threatening the knight for bishop and threatening the rook over here and this is what what does over here so free knight right here and that's the, uh, the knight move the knight move to g4 what is black's best move puzzle number three okay puzzle number three and this is interesting because this is actually a mate in five notice that the white knight is threatening for checks here so so i was you know guarding this pawn over here with the king which is like this but i should not have bothered because i can move the bishop here and suddenly all squares are guarded so if the knight goes here i can simply go here maybe and then what's it gonna do not not much so the king basically cannot go anywhere cannot go here cannot go here cannot go anywhere and if the rook goes here just trade or just do it like this that. and me or do it like this and cannot do it 
push back here and check me that's it so so the bishop move over here is the right move right here but of course i was guarding this thing this pawn over here oops uh, okay but cutting this pawn over here and i could have can done it over there that would have saved me some problem and well what can i say uh, right here so move the, the pawn here move and just the uh, knight away move there and hey it's a free knight at this point in time then i start started to think like maybe you know i'm winning here so so take that knight move the pawn again trying to i guess distract me from the square but by this time i found out the square so move there and check check my brother with uh, this squares are taken so two bishops right there in front of the king is very powerful and that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow